Well, all eyes will be looking up this afternoon. For the first time in 99 years, a solar eclipse will sweep across the U.S. from coast to coast. Experts predict this will be the most observed eclipse ever. Thousands making the trip to our area to see it. Don Champion is in St. Joseph, Missouri, where the eclipse will pass before it comes to us this afternoon. Millions will look toward the sky today for astronomical amazement. For the first time since 1979, the moon will completely blot out the midday sun along a path stretching from Oregon to South Carolina. There's a hustle and a bustle and kind of an excitement and an anticipation. The tiny farming town of Madras, Oregon, will be one of the first places to view the total eclipse around 1:16 Eastern time. In Carbondale, Illinois, which will be in the dark the longest for two minutes and 40 seconds, thousands will pack this sold-out football stadium. The site is something that's going to really please Americans and, and make them think uh, differently. St. Joseph, Missouri is the fifth largest city along the so-called path of totality. Hotels here started selling out for the eclipse more than a a year ago. Lauren Daves and her family rented an RV and drove here from Texas. It's going to be incredible just with the, the sky going dark and all the glow. The Phillips family drove here from Oklahoma and will be camping out. You won't be able to see the moon or the sun. It's just going to look like a ring of fire. I imagine at the moment of totality, everybody's just going to be in awe. And I just want to feel everybody in, in the same emotional state. Yeah. I think that's going to be empowering. And an experience few will ever forget. Don Champion, CBS News, St. Joseph, Missouri. All of North America will get at least a partial eclipse today. And of course, most of our area is in what's called the path of totality. The next total solar eclipse will be visible in the U.S. in April of 2024 and the next coast to coast one in 2045. There are plenty of other places you can see the eclipse happening. You can view it from the tops of the points at garage or the commons garage parking decks in downtown Greenville. Furman University is hosting a public viewing event at Paladin Stadium. You can also go to Green Pond Landing for the Blackout at Green Pond event in Anderson County. Much more information on eclipse events happening on WSPA.com. And you can stay tuned to 7 News for your eclipse coverage all day long. We'll be here, of course, on daybreak and at noon. And then we'll be back live on the air this afternoon starting at 2 o'clock with crews live at several of those eclipse viewing events.